Kepler's law of planetary motion. Kepler's first law. The orbits of the planets are ellipses with the sun at one focus of the ellipse. There is no object at the other focus of the planet's orbit. The semi-major axis A of an orbit is the average distance between the planet and the sun. As a planet travels in its elliptical orbit, its distance from the sun and speed vary. A planet moves most rapidly when it is nearest the sun or at perihelion. A planet moves most slowly when it is the farthest from the sun or at aphelion. Kepler's second law. The line joining the planet to the sun sweeps out equal areas in equal times as the planet travels around the ellipse. This is also known as the law of equal areas. Suppose a planet takes one day to travel from point A to B. During this day, an imaginary line from the sun to the planet will sweep out an area. The same area will be swept every day. Here, the areas A1 and A2 are equal and the time T1 and T2 are also equal. Kepler's third law. The ratio of the squares of the revolutionary periods for two planets is equal to the ratio of the cubes of their semi-major axis. T square is directly proportional to R cube. So, T square by R cube is equal to Kepler's constant. Recapitulation Kepler's law of planetary motion. 